Hey everybody, welcome back to greatchow.wordpress.com. This is Jason, and I know that you're looking for pulled pork. Well, I've got exactly what you're looking for, so don't go anywhere. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make the softest pulled pork from beginning to end. We're going to examine barbecued pulled pork and other tasty suggestions that I have for utilizing pulled pork. Our tasty suggestions include sliders, burgers and pulled pork with barbecue sauce. I'm also going to teach you how to make the Great Chow J Burger number one. I'm also going to teach you how to make my Maui Wowie sweet and sour pork. We're going to split a pineapple into two, hollow it out, put down lime cilantro rice, pack it with pulled pork, finish it with sweet and sour sauce, and then we're going to garnish it with pineapples and cherries. It looks absolutely amazing. It's an absolute party hit. You don't want to miss this. I'm also going to show you how to make my favorite Italian sandwich, which is pulled pork and vodka sauce over sautéed spinach on Italian bread. It's very simple. It's delicious. You're going to love it. All suggestions are amazing. Let's get to the pork. So when people make pulled pork, what they're using is the shoulder portion of the pig. So you might hear shoulder, picnic, but Boston butt terminology thrown around and you're like, what's the difference? Well, it's all part of the shoulder, different location, but it's still used to make pulled pork. So what we're using today is a Boston butt, which is the upper portion of the shoulder. It contains the blade bone. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim up our Boston butt. We're going to create a rub. We're going to sear it and braise it in the Instant Pot pressure cooker for about 90 minutes and then we're going to let it sit for an additional 10 minutes. We're going to take it out, break that soft pulled pork apart, and then serve it. Alright, so now we're going to create our rub. Okay, it's very simple. We have two tablespoons of sweet paprika. Okay, we're just going to combine all of this into our bowl. We've got one teaspoon of garlic powder. We have a teaspoon of ground mustard, dry mustard. We have a teaspoon of onion salt. And then we have a teaspoon of dry thyme. Teaspoon of celery seed. And then we have half a cup of brown sugar. Just dump that in. And then stir it up. Just mix it all together. And this is what's going to create our rub. Looks beautiful. Now we're going to trim up our pork butt. So one of the things about the Boston butt is there is the bone that travels through the very top to about the middle. Okay, we could see that there. Okay, so the Instant Pot or pressure cooker takes about four to five pounds of pork. So what I'm doing is I'm trimming away just a little bit of the, um, about a quarter of the pork butt and I'll reserve that for like a Sunday sauce, you know, meatballs and, and I do that in the Instant Pot too. So if you subscribe, you'll be able to see that episode as well when I make it. I definitely have plans to do that. So I'll just trim this away, okay? and I'll have about four to five pounds of my pork butt. Okay, this is beautiful meat. I trim. I know some will say this is sacrilege to trim away some of that fat, but we're braising it. Okay, we're not, we're not slow cooking it in a, in a cooker where it needs to self-baste itself, but we just trim away some of that fat See how marbled that is? That's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we're just going to... So the bone travels to about half. So what I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to wind up making a slice. So now we have two beautiful pieces that we're going to put our rub on and then we're going to sear it into it and we're going to have all of this beautiful pulled pork meat turn the pork upside down and then I just start rubbing it in. 
all the nooks and crannies, get it all in there. Okay. Rub that butt real good. Just work it all in there. The color is phenomenal. Push it right on in. So once our pork butt is fully rubbed, it looks something like this. So what we're going to do now is we are going to sear it and we are going to pressure cook it, braise it, inside of the Instant Pot pressure cooker. Alright, so we're going to start searing this baby up. So I throw it on saute, it says 30 minutes, and then once it says hot, I'm going to add my oil. Let it sit for 5 to 10 seconds, and then we're going to start searing the pork butt. So Instant Pot reads hot now. I'm going to just drop some oil in there for our searing process. Let that sit for 5 to 10 seconds. Let that get hot. I'm going to adjust this so you can see everything. All right, time to sear. Throw it in. All right. Mmm, smells so good already. I didn't even start. There it goes. You're in. It smells awesome already. So we're just going to let that go. And we're going to sear each side. Here's our first flip. The caramelization that's taking place right now, it's going to go a really long way. Oh yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. I'm going to drop it on another side. Beautiful. Okay, now all four sides are seared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the big bone side and I'm going to place that down. But before I do that, I'm going to dump in chicken broth. This way it kind of like deglazes the bottom and mixes so nicely. That's it. See that color? That's exactly what it's going to braise in. It's going to soak up all the chicken broth and all of the herbs and seasonings and the sweetness. And it's all going to just seep right into your... Ah, yeah. See that? That's exactly what you're looking for. You see that bath? Ah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. We are definitely on the right road for the best pulled pork like ever. All right, I'm gonna seal it. From saute, we're gonna turn it off. So now that the meat is in and the lid is in the locked position, we're going to set this for a meat and stew. We're gonna dial this up to 90 minutes. Okay, easy as that, 90 minutes. Perfect. It's on high pressure, set at normal meat stew. Okay, the release valve is set to uh, the sealing position, turns on, we set it, now we walk away, we do whatever we want to do, and when we come back, after the 90 minutes are up, it's going to go to the low cycle, we're going to go up 10 minutes, which is, I call it 90 and 10, then we take it out and it's going to be the best pulled pork you've ever had. All right, everybody, here it is, reveal time. Let's see our pork. Oh, wow, it looks beautiful. Okay, look at that, look at that. I can tell how super soft that is. We've done an amazing job here. Let's see, 
Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. There's that bone. It's just going to come right out. One of my favorite tools of the trade is this. It's a big super scooper that you could probably get from Bed Bath Beyond. It's amazing. I love this thing. I fish out the pulled pork with it. I use this to fish out just about everything from the pressure cooker. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. Ah, uh, we're losing some meat. There's that bone. It's just going to come right off. And there you have it. You have pulled pork now. Let's break this up. All right, now watch this transform from hunks of meat and bone into pulled pork. See, let me show you something. Here's that bone we were talking about. See how easy that came out? One, two, three. All right, so then uh, look at this. This just falls apart. I didn't do anything. I just put it in the Instant Pot, and this is what you get. All of this beautiful braised pulled pork. Look how juicy that is. That's amazing. This is what happens when you braise. Look at all of this beautiful, beautiful pulled pork. So now that you have all of this pulled pork, there's so many different things that you could do with it. So why don't we just hop into barbecue right now? So now that the cooking portion is over, now it's time to maximize our deliciousness. So right now what we're going to wind up doing is we're just going to build our basic slider, our barbecue slider. We're just going to grab some pulled pork, okay? Throw it right on to your slider bun, okay? Then hit it with some barbecue sauce. And now you have slider number one. So, you want to kick it up a little bit. Slider number two. We grab some more of our pulled pork. Throw that on there. We're going to throw some coleslaw on there. Hit that with a little bit of barbecue sauce. And now we have our slider number two. Moving on to our burgers. These are my favorite. So, regular burger, provolone in Swiss. Hit it with some pulled pork up on top. Oh yeah, pulled pork. Stack that high. It's yours. This is man food right here. It's caveman food. Boom. Hit that with some barbecue sauce. So now you've got a burger and pulled pork sandwich. Okay? You want, you could stop there or you could hit that with a little bit more of some coleslaw right up on top, some slaw right there. Beautiful. It's amazing. Now it's time for the Great Chow J Burger. This is my favorite burger. It's sure to be your favorite burger too. So we've got our burger, Swiss provolone. Now we stack it high with pulled pork. All right. Oh yeah. Stack it high. It's your pork. Right? You made it. You labored. You enjoy it. Okay? So then we're going to hit that with some barbecue sauce. Alright? Yeah! Barbecue sauce. And then we're going to hit it with some delicious thick bacon. Throw some of that bacon up on top. Right? So now it's time for some guacamole. Okay? Yeah! That guac. Fresh guac. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Mmm, I love guacamole so much. It's the best. So then we're going to hit it with some uh, grilled onions up on top. Yeah. These have a beautiful char on them. Yeah. So, and then throw a little bit of that tomato up on top. Boom. Now that's a great Chow J burger, stacked super high. Burger, Swiss, provolone, pulled pork, barbecue sauce, guacamole, so much to remember. Grilled onion, tomato, boom, stacked high. So anyway, I was wondering, you guys want to go to Hawaii with me? 
Welcome to Hawaii and a big aloha to you. So we've got sunshine and we've got beach. We've got exotic animals, nice birds they have here. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to make my Maui Waui sweet and sour pork. What we're going to do is we're going to take a pineapple, cut it in half, hollow it out, put lime cilantro rice down, and then we're going to pack it with our pulled pork that we had made in our instant pot pressure cooker and then we're going to finish it off with sweet and sour sauce, garnish it with pineapples and cherries. This is sure to be a hit at your next luau, family night, date night, whatever it may be. So let's get this baby started. Okay, so for the first thing that we need to do is we need to take our pineapple and cut it in half. I start from the very middle and then I work my way right down the center. I will flip this because we need to break through the leaves. I will find our spot. I'll still bring this close to me. And then right down. Now we have our halved pineapple. Now we need to hollow it out. We take a smaller knife. We're going to hold it at a 45 degree angle. Okay. Yep. And just follow it around. Make sure that you're pretty even. Yep. Just keep working it around and then you hollow it out. And then you could also use a scooper, a nice scooper, to start hollowing out some more pieces. Discard it. Okay. And there you go. Now you've got a perfectly hollowed out pineapple. We're going to take our rice, scoop it in. Okay, make a nice little bed for your pork. Okay, that's good. Beautiful. All right, so then we're going to take our beautiful pork that we made inside of our Instant Pot pressure cooker. Okay, you could, don't be shy, pack it high. It's very nice. Finish it with some sweet and sour sauce. Perfect. And then I made these little pineapple and cherry uh, garnish. You could just put them around any way you like. Really makes for a nice presentation. Yeah, I don't know, any way you like. Once again, a pineapple, some cherry, toothpick. Perfect. And look at that. I just made you Maui Waui sweet and sour pork with beautiful garnish. Sure to be a hit at your luau. Welcome to my Italian kitchen. Ciao. Okay, so I'm going to make a sandwich here for you that's tutu bene, okay? It's all good, okay? So what we got here is seeded Italian bread. We're going to cut that open. We're going to lay down some sautéed spinach. We're going to pile on our pulled pork. And then we are going to finish it off with some of this beautiful vodka sauce. It's sitting right here. It's killing me. It smells so good. All right. And then we're going to finish it off with some fresh grated parmesan cheese. All right, let's build this masterpiece because I want to eat. Okay, so now it's time to build our pulled pork sauteed spinach vodka sauce sandwich. So we split our Italian bread. All right. Crack that open. We'll rip some of this, we'll rip some of this uh, dough out because I like to fill up on the good stuff. 
So now it's time to lay down our spinach. Okay. Lay down our spinach. Time to load up on the pork. Okay. Just keep going. Load that up with pork. You can't have enough pork. Absolutely delicious. Okay. Pork's in. Now, time to finish with the vodka sauce. Okay. We're going to... Boom. A nice nice coating of vodka sauce and then we're going to hit it with the parmesan cheese eh? beautiful look at that look at that now that is a pulled pork vodka sauce sandwich over sauteed spinach this is beautiful this is a work of art you will love this if you've never seen it before you need to try that all right, so there you have it, my pulled pork and vodka sauce over sauteed spinach on seeded Italian bread. It's a beautiful sandwich and an absolute masterpiece, and I cannot wait to dig in. So I'm going to conclude here in my Italian kitchen. I just want to say thank you for joining me. All recipes, directions, and beautiful images are up on my blog. If you're watching this video on YouTube, I've incorporated the link right below in the description area for easy access. If you like this video, let me know. Subscribe. It inspires me to go above and beyond. So I just want to say thank you again and keep it fresh and keep it wonderful in your kitchen. And this is Maximize Deliciousness. I'm Great Chow Jay and this is Great Chow. Thank you. See you next time.